Quick tip! What's up guys, it's Phil, and today I thought I would talk to you about something that has been invaluable to me. I learned it right here on YouTube, and so I just thought I would share my own version of it, so check this out. So today I want to talk to you about a process called templating. Now, templating or templating or whatever you want to call it um, is not a new concept. For example, when installing cabinet doors with self-closing hinges, you can buy one of these kits. It comes with a template, you guessed it, and a little bit that you can drill out the hole once you've marked where it's supposed to go. The thing about it is you can use this little template to mark exactly where the hinges are supposed to go on all of your doors and make everything super even and super awesome. But did you know that you can actually use that concept in building things like entertainment centers, bookshelves, and whatnot? It's actually pretty cool. So behind me you can see a shelf that I'm working on. Now one of the things that I did when I was putting this shelf together is I measured exactly how far apart I wanted each of these shelves to be. And that happens to be about 15 inches on the bottom where there's going to be a closing cabinet and 14 inches for the top two shelves, leaving about an eight inch shelf on the very, very top. So what I did is I cut myself two pieces of plywood. These were scraps that were left over from when I cut the two side pieces and I happened to have a little over 14 inches left on one side. So these are actually cut out to be 15 and one half inches by 14 inches. There's two of them because on every single shelf, you're gonna have two sides. Now let me show you how to use these real quick. Now when I'm going to be actually using my templates, I simply take them and stick them in to my piece and set them on the shelves. So when I started this piece, I made sure that the bottom was perfectly square and put it in place. Then, turning these boards to the 15 and a half inch side, I simply place them up against the side, down against my table, and flush up against the back piece. Just like that, pretty simple. Then I took the shelf that I was going to be installing and slid it in place and butt it up against my templates. That seems pretty simple, but here's what's really cool. I make sure that my templates are always cut very square and I make sure that my piece that I start with is very square, very straight, very flat. Once you know you've got a straight, flat base to start with, and you've got straight and square templates to continue with, you can then line up every single shelf all the way up. Now, obviously I was working on my table, but uh, the reason that I really enjoy templating is because a lot of times when I'm working on site, I'm actually using the client's garage, so I find the flattest, best space that I can work from and if your piece is going to be standing up like this putting in shelves can be really hard and time consuming especially when you've got a lot of them to do so check this out so now I've got my 14 inch tall sides going up everything's nice and square and flush even with my floor not being all that flat I know that all of these shelves are flat because the bottom shelf was flat and square when I started so now this shelf, when installed, is going to be nice and flat just like the rest of them. Now the thing about this is I can do this while the piece is standing up on its own. There's no clamping, there's no nothing crazy, it's just a couple of templates, boom, right there. And I've actually used these templates on this entire piece so that every single shelf is even at either 15 and a half inches on the bottom or 14 inches going up the sides. And there you have it. Nice even shelves all the way down. Pretty great. Alright guys, so there it is. This is a piece that was built using templating. Now on this particular piece, I cut four pieces of wood into two separate templates that were three sizes. So the one I just showed you was 14 inches by 15 and a half inches, and that's what I used on the bottom shelves and the top shelves on the two end pieces on either side of this piece. 
For the component shelf right here, and also for my drawers, I used a five inch tall template that was bigger than the size of the drawers that I'm going to be putting in here. Uh, so I was able to use that second template for that, and also use, once again, the 14 inch template for the bottom down here. And as you can see by looking at this, all of these shelves are super, super even. This is an extremely professional look, and it made the work go so much quicker. I didn't have to sit there and, and measure every single space and try to line up my pencil marks and just make sure it was perfect. Instead, all I have to do is make sure the bottom shelf is perfect, the top shelf is perfect, slap those templates in there, and install these shelves. So I'm excited about this piece. You're gonna see it in one of my upcoming updates once it's painted and all that. But for now, um, I'm gonna give you a little slideshow of some of the other pieces that I've used this templating process on. And I'm just telling you guys, if you're not already doing this, you have got to learn to do this. It is super simple. It takes a tiny little bit of pre-planning and then you have to cut your templates to make sure that they're the size that you want them. Once you get them perfect, you will save so much time and frustration and your finished project is gonna be so much better, I promise. This is an awesome process and I really enjoy doing it. I do it all the time for all of my stuff. And what's really cool about it is you never have to think. So you pop in your podcast or your music or whatever you're listening to while you're on the job and you don't have to sit there and measure and think and make it all happen. It just, it, it does it automatically. And that's the whole point in templating. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is an actual quick tip that is actually quick, unlike my last one that was like 15 minutes long. So. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe if you like this content. Let me know below what you want to see and what you'd like to see me talking about or hear me talking about. Also, make sure to turn on your notifications because I'll be putting up a lot more of these quick tips and I've got a couple of DIY videos in the works as well. I know I've said that a bunch of times, but they're coming, I promise. But turn on those notifications and you'll be one of the first people to know that they are up. So thanks again for watching guys. Subscribe, all that jazz, whatever. I'm gonna go eat dinner, bye.